Hey wonderful people, Christine Paula here. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a dream come true for me because I'm on a solo adventure in the incredible city of Singapore. Join me as I explore the world of art, culture, and some unexpected surprises along the way. So, guys, here I am finally making my way to the Singapore Art Museum. This has been on my bucket list for ages, and now I'm on a solo mission to soak in all the artistic wonders it has to offer. It's incredible to finally explore this place. The heritage buildings at Brass Bassa Road and Queen Street are closed for redevelopment. But no worries, I headed beyond Tanjung Pagar District Park where the Singapore Art Museum still offers a unique art experience. It might be a bit underwhelming with fewer installations, but it's still a treasure trove for art enthusiasts like me. Now, lo and behold, the National Gallery Singapore. It's massive and every corner is a visual feast. From contemporary pieces to historic artworks This place is a true gem Fun fact, I even stumbled upon paintings by national artists from the Philippines including one of our national hero, Jose Rizal The architecture is mind-blowing and don't miss the interactive art installation where I created my masterpiece. <laughs> Check it out! Did you know that the National Gallery Singapore oversees the world's largest public collection of Singapore and Southeast Asian modern art? And two national monuments beautifully restored. City Hall and the former Supreme Court make up this 64,000 square meter venue. Oh, and here are four amazing facts about this incredible institution. Hey guys, so, 
guess what I stumbled upon on? I went up to the roof deck and then look what I found. It has the perfect view of Marina Bay Sands, the Singapore Art and Science Museum, Esplanade, and the Singapore Flyer. What? Right? Exploring Singapore Art Museum and National Gallery as well. Let's head on to our next stop, which is Haji Lane. Let's go. Now, let's move on to Haji Lane. The walls here are alive with art and the vibe is just fantastic. I stumbled upon this charming honey ice cream shop called Honeybee. I tried their best seller and trust me, it's a must try. Absolutely delicious. As the evening approaches, Haji Lane turns into a hub for nightlife. But if partying isn't your scene, I recommend visiting during the daytime to fully appreciate its artsy charm. Right across Haji Lane is the enchanting Arab street a special ethnic enclave in Singapore. This place is known for its unique retail, dining, and the iconic Sultan Mosque. Let's explore! And there you have it guys! My solo art field adventure in Singapore. If you enjoyed this journey, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more travel escapades, and comment below with your favorite part. Until next time!